Okay. There we go. So uh, depending on how good this is, I'll probably send it back out. I'll probably send it back out anyway. I'm not going to play that game, but uh, oh, 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 so I just wanted to shoot out a, a email to my list. I, I sent it to you guys this morning, very late uh, in the game of today. I was like, oh, I'm going to schedule a call here out of the blue, not telling anybody ahead of time more than a couple hours. So I don't, I don't expect a lot of people on, but all of you that are here, Alicia, Aaron, Jay, Todd, Tamisha and uh, Audrey, if I did your name wrong, you can call me whatever you want. I'm sorry about that. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to keep this pretty loose leaf, and I just wanted to have a, a talk with you. I've got something really special uh, for you guys coming up, and uh, I just really wanted to provide you some value and get to know you and see what is going on with you, what is happening. Um, Todd, of course, is already a uh, part of our Build Lab program. Um Obviously, anything that I do, my my homies over in Build Lab get get access to immediately. Um, but can everybody hear me? If you can turn your cameras on, that makes it more fun for everybody so we can see each other. Uh, kind of makes it a little bit more personal. I like that. I like to connect, see who I'm talking to. I can see what's going on. But if you, you don't have to, and if you can't, then I guess it is what it is, right? But hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're good. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't have a gigantic plan when I jumped on here. All I did know was I was going to give you guys some powerful resources for like content creation. Um, I do want to hear what you guys are working on and what you're doing. We'll keep this short. I'm going to do another one of these. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to make you an offer just to join my Build Lab program for either 97 bucks or 597 a year. Uh, you save money in the long run on the year deal. But whoever gets started today while we're on this Zoom or today in general, because uh, I'm going to email this back out to people, uh, the recording and stuff like that. Whoever gets started today, I'm going to do a very special call. Uh, once you get started, I'm going to do a private call with all of the people that get started today. So um, very excited about that. Alicia says, I've been already eyeing your program. Awesome. Very good. So maybe we can, uh, but I'm, I'm really here. Like, listen, you don't have to buy anything, but if you do buy something, if you do get started with the program, then I'm going to give you a private video training um, just for the people that get started. And um, it'll be really cool. And I've got I've got some really, really neat things down the pipe. So before I start building a bunch more stuff, I wanted to talk to the rest of you. Um, so thank you for joining. Does anybody just right out of the gate have any questions? I found you last night on TikTok and binged all your content. Well, that's cool. Very good. I hope it was Part of me feels sorry for you. The other part of me is, is I'm happy. I'm glad if, if you're trying to discover this stuff. Uh, I am a crazy, crazy son of a gun. So uh, as a member of Build Lab, I can personally attest to the awesome value from get, Todd. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this is me all the time. I'm pretty I'm pretty laid back. Um, I can be a bit crazy, um, but I do love this stuff. I'm extremely ridiculously passionate about it. And I just want to help all of you uh, make money doing what it is that you love to do, help you set up an online education business. And primarily the focus that I had in this one was I wanted to show you, um, you know, what the email only bonus is, because a lot of people are doing email marketing out there. Matter of fact, in the chat, let me know real quick, how many of you are doing email marketing as of right now? And um, how's that, you know, is it is it working for you? Let me know down in the chat or if you guys want to. You guys can unmute and talk. Um, does anybody want to? I am and womp womp. Okay, so gotcha. Anybody else doing email marketing already or want to do email marketing? Put uh, I want in there or put um, I am. So we've got one that says I am. Ryan, welcome. I want. Okay. Todd, beautiful. Let's see who else. Another one. I want to learn more. Beautiful. Aaron. Okay. Excellent. So the thing that I want to share with you is a lot of times, and you've probably heard this and let me know if, if you know, you can always just, we're having a conversation here. We're just hanging out. All right. Um, let, you know, some of the people are doing email marketing and they're like, Oh, my emails aren't getting into the inbox. And so I did, I did want to share with you guys, as I shared in the video that talked about this zoom to begin with, I wanted to share with you the email only bonus uh, and how that works. It's something that we talk about inside a build lab I mean, we talk about a lot in Build Lab. Here's all these different slides in here. Some of the people from Build Lab are in here. We've got a couple members, but we get down and dirty with all of this stuff. Like I teach all of this stuff inside of Build Lab. So 
we're just going to focus on uh, one thing that I think is very powerful. And then I'm going to also, I want to give you a very awesome tool that I made. It took me like six hours of heavy grinding and lifting on the internet to make it, but I'm going to give it to you because I think it's very helpful. But the email only bonus, um, I just want to show you this because when I learned this, although it may be simple, it helped me get you on this Zoom. How? Well, you actually get my emails. Because if you didn't get my emails, then you wouldn't even know about this thing. Because <laughs> the only people that know about this are the people that are on my list. And the way I get my people to open my emails are through bribery and trickery. No, I, I do it through just plain old, you know, good old fashioned. Here's how the machine works. And um, I, I try to keep my email subject lines curiosity based. Um, but here's the real trick of it. Okay. So when you're running your funnel, and this is the funnel that I give the members inside of BuildUp. Can everybody see my screen, Todd? Can you see all this? Okay. So inside of Build Lab, I, I give you this, uh, like all of this is pre-built. You just got to go in there, take my video out, put yours in, change your my headline to yours, put your picture here, you know, that kind of stuff, and then just connect it to your system. Da -da -da -da. But I, I've pre-built it all for you inside of Build Lab. Then I coach you and show you how to set it all up. And then I teach you the tools that you can use to edit your emails and do all the stuff. And then, of course, twice a week we get on live, just like we're doing right now. Uh, and you guys can share your screen. You can ask questions. We can work it out and get everything taken care of. But here's what's going on. So somebody sees your stuff out there in social media land. They're seeing your TikTok, your Twitters, your threads, your, you know, I, there's so many now. <laughs> um, all of these, right? They're out, you're out there posting content. And what you're doing is you're sharing with people what it is that you do to actually help them solve their problem. And you're saying to them, hey, uh, if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you solve the problem, just go over and check out my funnel. And, uh, well, you probably wouldn't say funnel, <laughs> But you'd say something like, hey, I've got a free training for you that shares more about this. Go ahead and click the button here in this post and go check it out. And then they end up on this page. And when they click this button or this button or they click anything on the page, the only thing it can do is pop up a box where they can put their name and email in it. All right. So if you go to makeonce.com, you can see an example of this. It doesn't matter what you press on the page. The only thing you can do is give me your name and email. Well, when you do that, when that happens, here's what here's what goes on. Are you guys cool in the chat? Can you guys are you guys following along with me? You guys digging this so far? I know we didn't really do anything. Okay, cool. So the the what happens then? They come over from your your or your content over there out in the social media world, and then what happens is they get to this page. There's nothing they can do except for get excited about what you're going to share with them, and then they click the button or click this. This little window will pop up. They put their name and their email in there. And boom, they, they instantly land on this page and some other things happen too. The other things that happen are this. They then go down because we hook, um, we hook our email automations to our funnel. So these things all work in concert with each other. They work together. When they put their name and email in here, okay, what happens is they instantly go on to your email list and an email goes out immediately. Then what happens is this little thing hits and it's a wait so it's like how much how long do you want us to wait i i have it wait for like one one day and then this thing happens after one day this thing lets the traffic through this is called email automation this is how your emails go out without you this is how your emails do every this saves you time you still get to do everything that you need to do in a better way but it just happens in an automatic way so that you don't have to you know, sit there and send each email or worry about all this stuff, or you don't ever get, you know, uh, you don't have to face somebody going, no, I don't want it. You don't even know. The only thing you know is somebody got started. <laughs> so it's beautiful. You don't have any rejection things going on. It's just like, wow, sweet people, you know, they opt into this funnel. They learn about how I can actually help them. So I guess it would help to say who this is for. I primarily focus on helping people that want to start an online education business, or in other words, you're a person that wants to help people solve a specific problem. I'll give you an example of a 17-year-old kid. Uh, my son, one of my son's best friends, uh, he started a mowing business. And he figured out, I love using this example because it's simple. We all have, well, we most of us have to mow our grass or something, right? So he he's in high school. He's 17 years old. He wanted to make money. He had a little entre entrepreneur bug in him. 
And he went out and he started a little mowing business and a landscaping business. And he's been able to earn three to $5,000 per month doing that. And so as he's continuing to get better at that, he said, man, I would love to show other kids that are in high school how they can make an extra, you know, several thousand bucks a month doing the same thing that I did. It's simple. He goes, I know what I did to start and I'm going to create a little program that shows them how to, to do that. And he's going to charge like 15 bucks a month, right? So let's say he gets a hundred kids to pay him 15 or 15 bucks a month. That's $1,500 a month. He makes a course one time, like the name of the company, makeonce.com. That's why I call it that. He can make this program one time and he can sell that thing thousands and thousands of times for the work that he did once. We call that leverage. He's going to call it $1,500 a month if he gets 100 members. If he gets 1,000, it's 15,000 a month. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was 17, I had no clue something like that was even in existence, right? Uh, it probably wasn't, <laughs> but it was happening in some way, shape or form. It just wasn't happening the way we can do it with the internet. So how many of you right now, uh, as a show of digital hands, um, down in the comments, how many of you so far find that pretty cool? Or you you are an expert or you have a, uh, you're, you're good at something and you want to show other people how to do it. Like for me, I, I'm, I geek out on this internet stuff and how to make money starting an online education business. Or in other words, it's a another way of saying essentially that you're you're just basically helping people solve their problems online. So you're using videos and some PDFs and some training and and it's beautiful. Okay. So Alicia says uh, Todd raises his hand. Yep. Alicia says I do it now just one on one and I want and I'm burnt out. That's exactly where I was, Alicia. I had an online I had an agency and I was doing all of this stuff for people. You know, I would literally drive to their store. I would take pictures of them or videos of them talking about their services, their products, whatever. I would come home, edit it, then post it all over their social media accounts, then keep up with it, support it. And it was literally a freaking nightmare. I, I When I was learning it, it was like, this is amazing. You know, I'm making 10, 15 grand a month. And I thought, you know, the whole, op the heavens had opened up, you know, like I went from, I don't have money working, not, you know, it was like, wasn't working. And all of a sudden it was like, I found something that worked, you know? So uh, everyone glorifies high ticket, but I am tired. Yep. No, I get it. The thing about it is this is a product suite. Okay. You have your low ticket, you have a mid ticket, and then you have a high, high ticket recurring and you don't have to do them all. And it's not one or the other. It's just, these are available. And if you plug them all together, it's just like people buy the low ticket. Like my low ticket is build lab. People can come in. I give them everything that they need. I support them live every single week. I have a community there for them, and we help you get your online education business up and running, okay? Show you how to market it, show you how to put it together, how to find your avatar, how to build your course, how to build the whole thing, everything, okay, from scratch, okay? And then some of those people want to go to the next level where they pay a little bit more, but then they get five private sessions with me. We build the whole funnel out. You don't even have to touch any of that stuff. We sh Then we then teach you how to drive it and everything, so... Think of like build lab is you're building the car to drive. And then think of like my mid ticket is where basically we build the car for you and then teach you how to drive it. Okay. <laughs> and then, and you get access to the, the low ticket as well. So you get access to build lab as well. And then there's that, right? So basically what happens is less stuff you have to mess with and you get it done faster, easier with less, less troubles there. Right. It's it just, we do it. It's done. You have it set up in a weekend. Now you get to learn and focus on how to uh, market it. Right. And then we teach you how to do that and you get access to our build lab program. So, uh, and welcome everybody. If you're just jumping on, uh, please, you know, down in the chat, you can ask questions. I'm going to be on here for, you know, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. We'll see how it's going. But um, if you have any questions, please uh, reach out. If you if you can, turn your cameras on. It's a lot more fun that way. I like to actually see human beings. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Burton. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm just a good old boy here. There's nothing special going on here. Just a guy in a hat. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm here to help you. I'm here to to make sure that you understand the stuff. If you're just joining, we're gonna talk about how to do some content marketing stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a, an overview of what this looks like. And right now I'm just doing the email only bonus. I see your guys' questions. Um, I will get to those in just a minute. 
Um, but I do see those there. I will, I will, I will definitely get to them. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for getting on here with such short notice. Um, so I do want to see down in the comments from everyone, if if possible, what type of um what are what is it you're necessarily looking for? Are you trying to start an online business? Are you trying to learn just online marketing? Are you wanting to learn it all? What is it that you're trying to accomplish here? Why are you following me? Why are you here right now? Help me know that down in the comments, and this will help me help you, okay? So then I can I can definitely carve this out a little bit different. It'll be kind of based off what you guys are saying, okay? All right, so back to this. These emails that go out, what happens is, and what we're doing if you're just joining us, what we're doing is why we create this email only bonus. I'll explain what it is and everything. Uh, let me just get through it real quick. Okay. Cause this is recorded. You'll get the, you'll, we'll see about what we're going to do with the recording here at the end. I don't, I haven't made a decision on it yet. Um, but when somebody opts into your funnel, okay. And I'll cover these terms here in a bit, if you're not familiar with everything, but what we're trying to do is we want to get our emails actually delivered when somebody opts in because you can have an email list, but if nobody's getting your emails and opening them because they're all going to spam or junk, then, well, you don't have any, you, nothing's happening, right? It's very, very difficult for you to, to communicate with them and educate them and show them why you matter. Okay. So what happens again, you're out here on social media, you're posting content, maybe you're doing ads. I don't know what you've got going on particularly, but let's just say you're posting content on YouTube, long form, short form videos, and you're, you're sharing with people, hey, this is what I do to help you solve your problem. And then you say, hey, if you want to know more, go down in the description where this is where a lot of you found me. Um, I say, go down in the description or I'm on TikTok Live or something like that. And I say, hey, go over there and get my free training and we can we can get you all you know, straightened out with all that. You go over here, you click and you land on my landing page. You click any of these things, it opens this up, you put your name and email in, boom, you go on my email list. And then this automation sequence starts. And all that's happening down here to simplify automation for all of you that have heard the word and tried it, and it's just crazy difficult. I'm going to sum it up for you real quick here and make it easy for you. All that happens is this person goes into a list, this machine that we use to do it, this little software, it sends an email right away that's been pre-made. We pre-made the email, we send it out, and then there's a few actions that we put in place. This one, it says, wait for one day, okay? After one day, this thing takes off, it lets it through, and it says, if, I'm having to draw this, sorry, bear with me. If then is the thing that's going on here. If this person purchased the program, because that's the idea here, fortunes in the follow-up. The only reason we're doing this follow-up email sequence is because People are the likelihood of somebody buying the first time they see your stuff is very, very unlikely to the event of like less than 1%. But if you can get them onto an email list, giving them something for free right here that they actually truly want. And then on the next page, you have a video that breaks down what it is you do to help them solve their problem. And you give them some buttons to go buy the solution. They'll do it. Right. But you're going to have to you're going to have to educate them. You're going to have to warm them up. All of you that are on here right now that are not part of Build Lab, which is over 90% of you, you guys, this is what's happening to you. This is why you're here. And it works very well. We get people joining us all the time. So, and it just happens in an organic automated way in the background. I see you guys, all of your questions and everything. I'm going to go through these in, a, in just a minute. I just want to keep a flow going uh, with this other, but I do want you to know I see it. Okay. Thank you for being and engaging down there. But this funnel right here is a key element to what you need. If you're operating without this funnel, I it's I don't know what you're doing, right? You're just literally making it painful for yourself and you're limiting yourself. Down here is where you're going to get about 68% of all the money you're going to make online. And this is the biggest mistake I see people make all the time. Number one, they're not building an email list. Okay, your email list is everything. It's the highest ROI channel. I'm not making this stuff up. These aren't my words. This is the highest ROI channel, period. It beats face-to-face -face sales. It's a 4,400% return. This is as HubSpot uh, to this 
you know, this year, that's the numbers, the return on investment for email marketing is higher than any other vehicle, any other vehicle out there in all industries, email is the highest. Okay. And so what everybody I see doing out there, it looks like a madhouse in here. What I see everybody out there doing is this. They're going out, they're trying to grow an online business, an online course business, or trying to sell something online. Um, in our case, we're primarily talking to people that want to sell digital products or digital education. Works out, you know, education is done pretty good for Harvard and Stanford and all these other places to the, you know, tune of billions of dollars. No guarantee <laughs> of anything. <laughs> um, and you can fail. <laughs> um, but you, you get... Uh, you get people on this email list. What I see people doing is they're just driving straight to a sales page here. And they're going, man, this online business thing don't work. Why aren't they buying my thing? Well, because most people, when they're learning about you, they don't know who you are. They see something looks good, but they're like, what, what is this? I don't know. Like, and they're usually doing something. They're rummaging around. They're driving They're Who knows what, you know, you see people holding their phones, doing all kinds of things. Um, but You've got what you want to do is you want to create a situation where you get them onto an email list. So, to get back in front of them, because you have to follow up with them, you have to warm them up, engage them, educate them, get them to know, like, and trust you. Trying to just go out there and post again to get their attention is like throwing a toothpick into the ocean, right? Like, you're never going to see that happen again. You're never going to find that thing ever again. It's gone. Like, so what do we do? Well, we offer something for free. We get them in. We get them on an email list. We put a video on the very next page because they're excited, man. They just opted in for this thing. And boom, you've got that moment in time with them where they can watch this video about how you can help them solve their problem. We help them ahead of time in this video, actually showing some love, showing them we actually know what we're talking about. And we're showing them that we're a good person. And we can actually, we actually have something to help them. Okay. Most of them will go, well, let me think about it. Or I got a da 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 or da 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 da. And they go somewhere else. And that's where these emails every day, you send out a new email. And I use this value train page. Okay. It's where you just take your, your YouTube video. This is a little hack here. Take your YouTube video, stick it on one of these pages, and then email them to this page. And if they click this button, it takes them up here where they can go buy your program or whatever. Everything leads back to the program. This whole entire email automation right here, which I think it in in most cases, you want to have around 10 to 20 emails that follow up with them because they need, you know, that many exposures and and they need to hear from you. They need to see that you're there and, and helping them and providing value to them. And then they'll buy. I mean, it's just, it just happens. And so here's the cool numbers that you guys can write down. And, and uh, these things have actually been proven to be better, but you can use these low ball numbers and you'll still be safe for every thousand emails. Okay. There's something that happens at this magic thousand spot. It'll happen ahead of time, but just know for every thousand emails you're going to make, if you have something to sell and it's actually good, you're going to make about 10 to 50 sales. Or in other words, one to 5% of the emails you generate. If you have an offer, you will just sell them. If you're, if you have a sales process in place. So think about that. Um, if I, now that I know these numbers, I can reverse engineer them and I know how many leads I need to get. Okay. The numbers from this page to this page is you want to have it 20% of the people that click from your content over to this page. You want at least 20% of them or two out of 10 of them to opt in. And these numbers will start to show up for you. And this just becomes a math game after you've got something that works and you know, you've got a, a system in place. Okay, so before I go on, uh, I want you guys to know that I'm just trying to get you up to speed on this. Is this stuff okay for you so far? Are you guys, is this cool? You guys give me some thumbs up or some something. I don't know. Are you using ads in this process? You can Absolutely. use ads. Thank you. Okay, good. So you can use ads, but I'm talking purely organic here. You can absolutely use ads. If I were to go back, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on ads. Um, running ads without a funnel and email automation is just, you're just blowing money for no reason. Um, but what I found, if I were to go back, I would have done a ton of organic content found the pieces that were hot organically and turned those into ads. And then I knew I'd hit the ground with the with an ad that actually works because it showed up organically. Okay, so makes sense. Yes, the email list has been a thing that's been a nemesis because paid email lists and ads, huge. 
monetary commitments have been da, 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 okay. Yep, absolutely, Todd. Uh, and this is all mapped out in Build Lab with the email templates. It is, Alicia. It's it's a hundred percent. And I like as long as you're a member of Build Lab, I will personally help you do everything. I mean, it's it's like just like what we're doing now. Only you'd have the stage, and we you could share your screen, and I can help you with every single part of it. Okay. Uh, I've been in internet marketing since 96. I've actually been successful in past endeavors, but I let myself get out of it for a while uh, and then lost. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I am a business English coach. Awesome. I currently market through LinkedIn DM and content. Got it. Okay. Do you have a funnel, Burton? That's curious about that. Um, let's see. I have a Facebook group, email. Do I, need, do I need both? Yes. You don't need the Facebook group necessarily, but it's not a bad idea. Um, you can put get a bunch of people in a free group. You can be helping them for free, learning about what it is that they need. And then you can start to carve a program out based off their actual needs and their actual problems that you're seeing them suffer through inside of your group. And you learn a lot. It helps you with your messaging. So it's not a bad thing at all. Um, but you don't need both. You could do one or the other. Uh, I don't see why there's a problem with having both. I have been driving people to both and I think I need to streamline it. Yeah, you definitely, if you don't have a funnel, this is like, so not having a funnel is like trying to play basketball without a basketball. Like if you do not have a funnel and you are not collecting leads, that is like trying to drive a car without the wheels on it and a steering wheel. Like it's not a good idea to have one or it's not like you could have one too. If you don't have one, you're not in the game. You so. If you had a competitor selling the exact same online education course or program or product or whatever, or just anything in general, if they were selling the same thing as you and they had a funnel and email list and you didn't, you would not have a chance. You would not have a chance if all things were equal. Okay. Um, is there any data that show con uh, conversion rates from doing lives? Um, I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff out there on that, Todd, but I'll be honest with you. Like uh, when I go live, uh, I just like pull up my computer and I keep refreshing the stats on my funnel. And and I didn't. this isn't my idea either. I learned this. Um, you're going live and you're refreshing your stats. And you can see as you talk about different things, different topics, you'll see more opt-ins happening. <laughs> so um, all I do know is lives work very well uh, to, to, to get things going. Uh, I have a lead magnet quiz that gives me about 100 leads a week. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, right. That's where I am. I'm only uh, I only sell a high ticket three to five, so I have tons of people camped out waiting for an offer in their range. I'll find anytime I do ninety nine workshops, they do very well. If they do, if it, when you do ninety nine, Alicia, if you do ninety nine dollar workshops and they work very well, it's it's like almost imperative that you would just create something like I have, like Build Lab, your low ticket monthly recurring thing. I mean, I find it works so good. I charge either ninety seven a month or five ninety seven a year. I give them 50% 50 off if they buy for the whole year. So it just works really. It's a great, it's a great setup. Um, and I don't know why you couldn't do it or wouldn't do it. And I mean, think about it. Um, you know, you get a thousand people paying you 97 bucks a month. That's not too bad. You know, you can get like a new hat or a shirt or something like that. So the cool thing is here, after they opt in, this is the big problem. Okay. The big problem is this. The first email goes out. Let me get a bigger pen. The first email goes out and then it lands in their spam folder. Why does it do this? It doesn't matter what kind of amazing email thing, software, you know, management system doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. What happens here is if you've never emailed them before, or they've never received an email from that particular sender, which would be going through your, your email automation software, it just throws it in spam right away, no matter what. So it's important that on this next page, so again, when they opt in right away, I'm giving you a little tip here, when they opt in right away, the first thing that you wanna say in this video right here, the first thing you wanna say is you wanna say, hey guys, before we jump into this free training where I'm gonna share everything with you and show you what I have to help you, you're gonna wanna go to your spam and junk folder because I sent you a bonus that only goes to your email and what's in that bonus is some other videos some or a video or a thing, whatever it may be. It's got to be something juicy, sticky, something that they actually want. You can say, and I'll give you, I'll show you the example of what I provide. Okay. But you can say, please go over there first before, you know, check that email because I've got a special email only bonus in there for you. Now, here's what happens. They go, 
and they're excited about it because it's something they actually want, they go to their email. When they do the act of literally going into their Gmail or Yahoo or whatever it is, if they go in there, find the email, open it, and click on it, it's telling these email, all-knowing, all-seeing email gods because there's something monitoring civilians and the companies operating within email. So everybody you know, is under some kind of rule, and it's this whatever all-seeing thing. Um, nobody, nobody can tell you what it is, but there's this service out there. Um, I'm serious. And so what they do is they see somebody go, wow, they went and found it. They opened the email in their spam, and they clicked on it they must want the next email from that person because nobody goes to that extent unless you know they're really serious about this. Okay, so that's what this email only bonus does. It tells them and it you're, you're slowly building points up. It goes the other way too. If you keep sending out emails and, it, and people are not clicking and opening them, you slowly degrade your email automation and email marketing account. Okay, they're reading, they're like, we're just going to keep stuffing these into the the spam and junk or promotions folders because the people that they send them to never click and open them. This is why you have to know who you're marketing to and what they want. Here's the email only bonus that I give. Inside of my email only bonus, I have everything that I know my people want. They want to know, how do you build a course? They want to know, where do you put the course? They want to know, how do you do it after you put it all in there and run it? So I create videos at all of these things and I show them those. They want to know, how do you attract people? I made a video for you. How do you convert people? I made a video for you. How do you deliver it to people? I made a deliver. Okay, how do you go live? This is what I send to people. And then up here, I've got a link that says, if you're ready to be amazing and start an online education business and make it easier and not so hard and faster and everything, click here and join Build Lab. Okay, so it's got everything's got a call to action in it. I'm not here just for the hell of it. I'm here to grow a business and help people solve their problem. So I'm going to make sure that I do that. Okay. And so if you're doing business, right, you're solving somebody's problem as well. You would want to solve those problems for people. I want to solve people's problems in this, in this thing that we're in. So I send them that and they click it and they want it. And then the next email, okay. The next email that goes out email two. It goes right into the inbox. The person opens it and it, it's beautiful because it, it kind of, they self-select and say, I really want this information. So I know that the only people that are really getting my emails are the people that really want my emails. And this changes everything. Um, and so I can talk to them directly because who on earth would want this unless they actually wanted what I was talking about, right? So it changes your ability to talk to everybody. And then they can watch your video and they start getting your videos now. Because again, remember, all of these emails are designed to go back to your sales page and sell your stuff. So while you're sleeping, while you're watering the grass, while you're at your friend's house, while you're on a vacation or whatever it is that you're doing, you have this system working in the background 24-7, 365, educating people, showing them what it is that you do to help them solve their problem. And you're out there actually able to give your product to the people that need it so they can get the solutions that you're providing. Okay, so that's why we create this email only bonus. And all I do is in this first email, I embed a PDF file that has the, the links to all the videos in it. And I made it look all fancy like this using a software that I'm on right now called Miro. Okay, there's the Miro up here in the corner. Okay, and that's how I create these little images. I call them disruptive visuals because I create them. There isn't any other thing out there like this but mine and it looks like something i want it looks juicy and sticky and like wow there's a lot of info and there is okay does this make sense give me down in the comments put an x or a seven or something what just tell me down in the comments is this making sense you seven okay cool uh he will help you in his k aspect do you help us with the copy too i do i do i do do uh do you create all these i do i do i create all those slides in miro um, stay at home mom. So if you're not an expert at something, uh, out of the gate, is it best to start out being an affiliate? So you can, so you have a product to promote. I'm a stay at home mom. Yeah. That's, you know, that's typically what people do. If they're not an expert yet, or they haven't learned how to do something, um, that they can teach or whatever, help people with, 
you can go get somebody else's product. You're either selling your product or someone else's product. Okay. The only difference there is one gives you more control and profit. The other one doesn't, but the other one you, that gives you more control and profit, you also have to create it as well. So um, yes. Okay. So seven, 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 Aaron, seven, Alicia, seven. I love this. Uh, Audrey seven makes sense. Burton says, do you have any career coaches in your group? We do. I mean, we have, we have 270 something plus experts in there. Okay. Or people that are very good at all walks of life and different things. Okay. So cool. I wanted to show you that the, another thing that I wanted to show you, and then I'm going to open up for questions. Okay. Um, I hope that helped you. I hope that it, this really does matter guys. I, I wouldn't even bother creating these slides or wasting your time or any, my own time to um, show this to you if it didn't really matter. And the moment your emails start getting into the inbox is the moment you can start sharing your story, connecting with people, showing them why you matter. You can share your expertise. You can sell stuff. Okay. So you got to get that to happen. How do you get the primary email versus the secondary email? Uh, primary email. Are you talking about like people have two emails that they use? Like, oh, let me use my, you know, all opt <laughs> like i don't care what happens to this email this is my good one but uh, you know how do you do that is that is that what you're asking uh Bert? i think he, i think he might be asking about how do you uh, go from like your the subject matters of each of your emails going from like one uh like how do you the subject you know like what do you say in your emails how do you do the follow-ups and what the subject matters of those follow-ups are um no i'm actually talking about oh. so many okay. um, people responding to these opt-ins they kind of have their junky email account that they don't check very often they'll they'll go in and they'll take the freebie and yeah. uh they won't look at it again now what i'm thinking of doing is doing a just a, a free mini course just a mm -hmm. free series and it will be dripped. So every day you get your, you know, four minute video. And if you don't, so they, they give you their primary, they give you their good email, you build yeah. the trust. Okay. Uh, so and I'll put the squeeze page before they get those. So I, I will yeah. capture their email. But my yeah, big problem too is getting my 5,500 contacts out of LinkedIn into my email also yeah I, I do the live sessions uh, yeah so one thing that you there's three things going on here that we talked about or that you mentioned so one of the things as far as primary versus secondary email I thought that's what we were talking about the way to do that and a lot of people say all these things and do all these things what you said is a good one right and it is it's basically the 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 principle the principle is the thing that you're offering in your free content or your marketing content and what you're offering on your landing page obviously need to be congruent, but the offer itself is going to separate the people that you want or don't want, right? If, if what you're offering on the landing page to get their email, if it's junk, they're going to give you the secondary one. If it's something that really hits the, it sticks a needle right in their nervous system of what they're trying to, you know, the problem they're really solving. And you really understand that customer's pain symptoms. And you can really just say on the landing page, things that make them so curious and want to know so bad that they want to give you the right email because they want the stuff that's on the next page or that would come in the email. That is the, the key right there. And that's where so many people mess up. It's, they think it's the machine or they think it's the algorithms or they think it's all this stuff when in the end of the day, your offer sucks. And so if you have an offer that actually matters to someone and you're addressing the symptoms of the pain that they're having and you're showing a possibility of relief on the next page, that's that's what gets people to give you the right email. And if they don't give you the right email, are they going to buy from you anyway? Probably not. Okay. That was the first thing. You're right. Just make it something very valuable, Burton. The second thing is you said, how do I get my 5,500 contacts from LinkedIn over into the email list, right? Again, this is just going to be a content thing. The better your content or the better your marketing content, you know, I'm going to share with you guys what I follow this hero analogy. Hero means nothing. It just, it happened to work out when I created it. Uh, it's an acronym and I'll show you, and you've probably heard it, but when you create content on any platform 
the hook needs to always address it doesn't matter if they're deep into the problem it doesn't matter what part of the funnel they're in in terms of are they top of funnel middle funnel bottom of funnel what matters is can you say something that addresses the pain point in in the in the hook and then once they get into the content provide value share you know as much connection and reason to why you're doing what you're doing and then make strong call to action and tell them, hey, go get this free thing. That's how you get, you don't want to convince people. You want them to be willingly wanting to go over there because they have the problem that you can solve. And a lot of people to say all these different things, well, you should do this, this. At the end of the day, people are trying to solve a problem. And if you're not addressing the symptoms and the pains and the things that they're experiencing, they can't hear you. You don't exist to them. So it's really just comes down to a content delivery production creation problem for most people. And that's really what it comes down to there. So that's how you get those 5,500 uh, contacts over into your email. You would never want to like hire somebody to scrape all their emails and, and put them into something like that. It's, you're just wasting time and money because it doesn't work like that. They need to want to come over there. Or they're just not going to buy. Um, and then finally, the thing that uh, I found works the best here is what I'm doing right now is, you know, so many people are like, well, I wonder what they want or I wonder why they're not buying. How about you just get on a dang Zoom with them and talk to them? Ask them, what do you want? How can I help you with this? Yeah, I do uh, discovery sessions. Good. I'm, I'm not saying you don't do any of these things. Yeah. I'm just saying for the people right. that are that are on here listening, so many times, it's like, gosh, you know, they're 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 so focused on algorithms, or they're so focused on all of these like things that are not the actual reason why people are going to move and take action, and that is when you speak or talk, you're addressing their problem their pain right back problems you know it's like you reach out it's like does your neck hurt when you're sitting at your desk you know anybody that has that problem is going to pay attention for a split second and whatever you say next is either going to bring them into it more or they're like i gotta go right so okay let your audience self-select and tell what they want yeah it's it's very simple this way uh, this is what makes me hesitate about the about the membership a lot of many a lot of my people don't trust the do-it-yourself services. It's not about, um, so when you say that, okay, you have to realize that that's why we have different levels of products, right? And so understand that when you're talking to these people, the reason they're only having to pay 97 bucks a month or the cost of a cup of coffee each day from Starbucks, okay, to get access to everything is the fact that they're, they're getting everything that they need. They're just going to have to put a little bit more of them into it to get it going. Now, here's the thing. If you set this up the way we teach you in Build Lab, like your product, every Monday and Thursday, I go live on Zoom, just like we're doing right now, for all of the members. They can share their screen. We can literally walk, walk through their landing page copy, their email copy, their offer, their everything, how to connect things, the technical things. So they're paying $97 a month for Build Lab, and they get access to me twice a week for four hours, which is pretty good, two hours at a time. I record those, and I add them to the member area. When you add that element, it changes everything because it's more of like a done with you. And the fact that they have a private support community, and they have the program, the how-to pre-recorded program, and then they have a, a weekly Q&A call, collaboration call. That is the the winning ticket right there. Now it goes from like it's just this do-it-yourself service to like done with you and I'm with a bunch of people that I can connect with and it becomes this little ecosystem of support and get it done and results type thing, okay? Um, yeah, it's all about positioning, how you put it in there. Uh, Audrey, I find that some come across, but okay, this is what makes me hesitate. Let your audience, okay. So before I uh, talk about anything else here, what what are some questions that anybody has about anything we've discussed here today? Anybody have any questions about any part of online business, online marketing, launching a course or anything? I've been doing this stuff since 2007, so I've probably uh, been across it at some point. 
uh, Mike, um, now as a coach, uh, you need people who are buyers and people who value your service uh, instead of the people who just tick, tick the ads, right? Mm -hmm. um, and when you do your YouTube or your Facebook ads or whatever, uh, what are you doing to separate the people who have the money and the intent from just the noise? So I, I let the, this is where I, the email is really powerful. Do you have email automation hooked up right now? Yeah, I, <laughs> I have mailer light. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of playing with uh, System IO. I bought a whole bunch of his little courses. He's a good uh -huh. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is what happens. I'm wh what I do, and and I'll be. I'm going to show you guys this here real quickly. Let me pull this up. When I go out there and I'm doing my 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 content, right, and I have my email follow up list and everything like that. What what happens out there is I don't have to worry about who has the money or who doesn't. I don't have to worry about like there's no rejection or anything like that. I'm providing value in the content in such a way that they're self-selecting, oh, I want this. Or, you know, they're they're seeing the content and going, wow, that looks like a solution to my problem. I'm primarily focused with Build Lab on helping online education businesses or coaches, consultants, you know, mentors, entrepreneurs that are going to help and teach people online through coaching programs, live Zooms, things like this. So when I do my content, I understand their pains because I'm in their pains. I go through their pains. I work with people in their pains. So I can say things to them that they go, there's no way that he could know that unless he has been in this or, and doing it. And so the people that are not serious, it doesn't even, what I'm talking about a lot of times doesn't even make any sense to them at all because they're not actually trying to get involved with it. So by the sheer creation of your content, your hooks, your headlines, the offer itself, that's what's going to determine who has the money and who doesn't. And through the email automations, this is why it's so important. So when I was showing you guys this, this is why this is so important here. This, uh, uh, let me pull back out. Here we go. So this part right here, let me actually go to the better one. Got a bigger version of it. Oops, here we go. So when, when this process happens where they're getting, you know, they opt in. First off, they're not even going to get from page one to page two. I call this page one, page four. Okay, these are the four pages of the funnel. First off, the people that aren't serious about anything, they're likely not even coming to the page, number one, because your content just doesn't resonate with them. They're like, huh, this isn't. But the people that they they see your content, and they're like, whoa, that person knows exactly what I'm dealing with. That person knows exactly what my problem is. And they're offering to show me a free way to, they're showing me for free how I can you know, fix some of this problem or get it taken care of. So then they come over here and then this, this page here, the headline, which is 90 cents out of your dollar and these little bullet points here, after they read these two things, there should be so much like resonating relatability of they're going, God, this is they're the message on those pages. Sh they should be going, man, this is exactly what I'm dealing with. And that's exactly what I feel like I need to know. They opt in. And this is all happening in the background without me. Then they come to this page and I'm literally showing a video that's packed with value. And the first part of this video, if we were thinking about this as the start and this down here is the finish. And I give you guys all of my sales videos and I coach you through how to actually use them as well. The first part of this video, I'm hooking them real hard. I'm And how am I hooking them? I'm literally saying, do you have this pain? Have you felt this kind of pain? Are you trying to get through this? Is this something that you're trying, you're struggling with and you can't figure out? I'm hooking them there. 
And then through this part of it, I'm just literally showing them how I solve their problem. And in doing that, I'm also showing them what to do. I'm not showing them necessarily how to do it. That's why they would want to join Build Lab. They see what to do and they go, wow, this is great. I see how that makes sense. But they're like, now, how? what do I do to put this in place? Or how do I actually make this work? And then that's when in the last part of the video, I'm I'm doing my call to action and asking them to join Build Lab. So, or or whatever, you'd, you'd ask them to join your program. If they watch that video and they don't buy, a couple things are happening. Number one, what I said in the video, they're like, nope, I don't care about that. This is not for me. And they leave, they're done. Or they'll just never buy, it just is what it is, okay? That's about 30% of the people, by the way. Okay, so you can just know that about 30% of the people that opt into your list, they're never going to buy. I don't care what you offer them. That other 2% of the people that come here the first time, they'll buy it right away. Okay, about 2% of the people that come here the first time, they'll come in and they'll buy it. Granted, this is you have a good offer and you're talking to the people, you know, in a way that resonates with them. Messaging and copy is everything here. I mean, if they don't know what the heck you're saying, then you're worthless to them, right? The other 68% of people that are going to buy, it's all going to happen down here in the email. And this is where people don't understand this. And this is why it, the online marketing world seems so illusory to them, or they're like, how are people hitting these big, crazy numbers and all of this stuff? They're consistently producing content over here and they're repurposing it into their emails and driving people to a sales page. And through these different exposures that happen in a very consistent basis, these are showing them why you matter. You're educating them. You're showing them everything that they would need to make a decision to buy your product. You're connecting with them. And and this just continues to go and go and go. I, I had clients back in the past, they'd have years worth of emails stocked up. So when somebody came from social media, whether it be ads or just free posting, uh, organic posting, once they came here and they made it over this threshold here, proving that they're they're raising their hand saying, I have the problem that you can solve, they would have two years of emails going out, buttering them. Not, I hate to say buttering them up. I don't know why I said that. It's probably some Kansas thing. But what you're doing is you're basically helping them learn and understand why you actually matter. Because if they don't know why you matter to them, you don't. And this only can happen down here in, in a very consecutive way. If you had to rely on somebody to reach out and manually do this, it just, it would fall through the cracks. And people learn this way. It's, it's just the way it is. Um, as of now. So if you're not doing email follow-up properly and you're not making sales, I would say that's a big, big reason why you're not following up. Okay. So it, it's, it's so critical when I, what I did in the beginning, I just, I was posting on social media and I was like, Hey, I got something. Then all of a sudden I was like, just sending them to a page that had my offer on it. I was like, this sucks. And then all of a sudden, somebody's like, a funnel. And I was like, oh, I got this. And I'm like, wow, my life has changed. I'm making sales. Then I added this to it. And I was like, oh, my Lord. I am getting a new jacket with my name embroidered on the back because I can afford it now. It literally was like turning on a faucet because the problem wasn't that my product wasn't good enough. The problem wasn't that my sales page wasn't written fancy enough. I'm telling you, I don't even put... Like on my um, on my landing pages, the ones that made me the most money, this is all that's on. It doesn't even have a headline on most of them. Just a video and a button to buy it. Less distractions. And it the moment I hooked email follow-up to it, it literally changed everything. Why? Because people actually were able to take the time under their own account to learn what it is that I do to help them solve their problem. And I didn't have to rely on just shooting out ads and hoping they seen my ad again or hoping they see my post again, I have them on an email list. I can just email them just like I did you to get you on this Zoom. Okay. And so people say, well, how do I know this works? How are you even listening to me? Because the only way you were able to listen to me is you were out here in social media land. You landed on this thing. You opted in. 
And then I shot you an email and you got over here with me now. Right. And then I say, anybody that joins Build Lab today, in the in the coming week here, I'm going to do a private session with you guys, a very private training for you guys, and announce something brand new. And you guys will be first dibs on that too. Um, let me see here on the chat. Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Okay. Da, da, da. Let's see. Thanks for what you do. I do smile a lot. Apparently. Okay. Thanks. Um, we just became okay. All right. So anybody else have any questions so far about um that was a very good question, Burton, but email. If you have a funnel, right? What are you, Burton? Are you the do you I mean do you have a funnel similar to what I've got going on here? Um no, I'm totally failing on the funnel. Okay. Uh, it takes so right now I'm doing everything um posting. DM and it's basically direct action. So okay, gotcha. it takes me 300 connections to get a client. Yep. Um, and I, so I have all these uh, people I've done the first connection. I've sent them a follow up. If they don't engage, I'm not really following through. It's just too much of a hassle on LinkedIn. There's too many. Too many out there. Uh, yeah. So that's my mistake. I should be moving them into the funnel, getting them out of LinkedIn because I don't even control LinkedIn. That's right. And I pay for Sales Navigator, which is another thousand bucks of marketing money. And uh, yeah, right. it's a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm kind of thinking too of maybe moving to some YouTube ads or not YouTube, but Facebook ads too. To move yeah. them into capture the email, move them through a funnel. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, I got you. Here's this is obviously not to be like biased or pitching anything, but yeah. this is exactly what Build Lab is designed for. So you can come out here. Imagine this for a second. So imagine, you know, assuming that you really understand your client, you really understand mm -hmm. their problem, you really do have a solution to help them. Okay, assuming these things. Imagine you could just create a video and I show you how to create a video and I'm going to give you guys my content uh, creation flywheel thing. It's amazing. And it's going to segue us into that from here. Imagine you're posting uh, each day, a short form, some short form and long form content. So long form, you know, 10 minute video or something. Imagine you're posting out here on social media and you're able to just connect with people in a way that they you don't have to DM them and do all these things. And there's a way to actually create content that will actually matter to people and show up. Okay. So, and, and you can run ads too, if you want. All right. Um, I teach you how to do ads in build lab as well, but let's imagine you're posting out here organically. You're taking your best organic posts that had the highest engagement, highest views, best, you know, best engagement. And we turn those then into ads. So now we know the ads are going to work. It's like if you found something that worked without money, just putting money behind it is just pouring gas on the fire. Okay. Then you're just simply saying to somebody, hey, instead of like DMing them and working this like thing back and forth, it's almost like tug of war. Instead of doing that, you are literally saying, I understand your problem. And so I created a video for you that you can go grab over here for free, just put your name and email in. And in that video, I'm going to show you how to X, Y, Z. What does that mean? Well, we're getting everybody from point A to point B. This is why they're paying us. We get them from their current situation, whatever that may be, to their desired situation, and we're helping them cross this gap. What you do in your free training is simply this. You take the first... Let's say that there's nine steps to get across this gap that gets them to from sad to happy through whatever it is that you're teaching. You take them about this far in your free training. And of course, you guys, I can't cover everything, which you can't. I mean, I can't cover everything that's in Build Lab right now. We'd all, you know, I'd have to go shave again or something. So you, you get them as far as you can and you give them as much value as you can to where they go, ah, this person does know what they're talking about. They've already helped me ahead of time, get me further down the road. And this was free. I can't imagine what their paid stuff is like. 
And then they're they're also saying, you know, I kind of like Burton. He's you know he's a nice guy. I think I I think I connect with this guy. Okay. And so they get the value of that. They're now on your email list. They understand more about who you are. They're connected with you more. They relate to you more. They see that now there's a real solution out there for their problems. And now they understand why they're having the symptoms that they're having. No different than a doctor. No different than a doctor would do. And then you're literally then in that in, in this funnel now. That that all happened, everything we just talked about, that all happened on this page. And that they'll either buy or not right away. If they don't buy, that's fine. That's fine because now we're going to follow up with them. And these emails down here are just top of funnel type content. What do I mean by that? You're just literally reaching out to them via their symptoms. Hey, it, does your back hurt? You're sitting at the computer. Let's say I have a back, you know, fixer 1000 product. Okay. And I know that the majority of my clients are sitting on a computer and their lower backs are hurting or something. Right. In this first email, the subject might be like, Two things that you can do immediately at your desk that will help relieve some of the symptoms of the back pain that you're having while you're working on your computer. They're like, oh, they click on that. They go here and they watch the video that I created for them about that. Again, they're like, who is this Burton guy? Guy's just going out of his way. This is so nice of him. And hey, it, you know, this is really working, but it's, it's just like not totally. I still got it a little bit. At the end of this video, you're like, now, if you guys liked all of this, then you guys go, you're going to love my build lab program. Okay. Are you going to love my back 1000 program? Go grab that thing uh, right now. And then you keep doing this. And then so, as you, as sorry. you create con, sorry, as you create content out here. So every day I create, I try to create, no, it doesn't happen every day. The goal is to have it happen every day, but you know, so I, I create a long form video on YouTube. I post it on YouTube. Okay. What I do then is I take that, and this I'm just trying to round this out for you, Burton. So I take that that long form video, okay. So let's say it's a 12 minute video on YouTube. I take that video and I put that video down in. Oh, we're getting lost here. I take that video and I put it down here in these follow up emails. So now they're watching my YouTube, which is build my YouTube, my brand, and my authority. They're also getting more and more value from me, okay. So the more I keep giving to them, the more they feel like they need to reciprocate, okay? I'm building all the, the right things up, the authority, the process, the, the you know, people are getting help and value. I'm, I'm helping people at the same time. All this is happening. And I can take that, whoa, I can take that video, well, for goodness sakes, I can take that video and I can then now chop out little pieces of that video that are really good, like, Maybe I said one thing in the video that was like 30 seconds long or something. I can just cut that out of the video and I can use that and I can post that on all the little short form uh, platforms. And I do this every day. And this is what we call, this is what I teach in Build Lab, how you every day you can take one long form video, email it to your list, put it on YouTube, and then cut out the pieces of it that we just talked about. Okay, this little picture here. You cut those little pieces out. And when you do that, you just created all this content that goes on these platforms here. You did one action, you created the long form video, and you were able to post on all the platforms that day. And this starts just driving traffic day after day out here, whether it's organic paid or your email list, you're driving traffic into those funnels. And you only need one funnel. And the funnel's doing all the work. It's following up with them. It's educating them. It's selling them. Everything's happening that way. So you get your life back. You, you get all of the stuff back that you're losing right now, manually trying to DM people and drive them over there. I feel literally like I want to just come over there and, and save you. Like I... I hate the idea of cold outreach and 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 cold follow up when we've got that's like mowing your lawn with scissors. We it's like we've got mowers now. You know what I mean? So I don't want you to do that and that it pains me. So that's why I hope you take I just need to stop clicking, I think. So where do I you put the squeeze page? Where uh, okay. Is yep. it before the freebie? <clears throat> yep. Sure. Yeah. 
So when you join my my program, I'm just telling you this because I don't want you yeah. to go out there and bang your head against the wall be, over a 97 right. you could for 97 bucks and in 30 oh. yeah, you'd have all this but this the landing page, I built all of this in system for you. You literally right. get this exact thing. When I go out to like and I'll pull mine up real quick, let me show you. If I go to let's say <clears throat> let me go over here to my YouTube channel. Okay. I'll show you where I put these links to this. Okay. This will be a big helper for you. Um, Which social media do you like the most, Mike? I honestly, um, <clears throat> I used to, <clears throat> excuse me. I used to think um, about this quite a bit and, and look into all this. I just look at it now like this, Burton. I say short form and long form. There's short little short videos and where any platform that lets me put those on them, I like it. <laughs> it's like I look at all those little platforms out there as like little bars and clubs you can go have a drink in or something. And instead of going in there and having a drink, I'm just going in there to the bulletin board in there and I'm sticking something on it that says, hey, you know, when the guy walks by to the bathroom, he sees on the bulletin board back pain, click on my funnel, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, I got a free thing for you here. You know, it's like that, right? Only instead of doing that at the at the cork board and, and in the newspapers and, and on the radio, we're doing it out there on social media. I love YouTube. It's got a search engine. That helps. I like TikTok. It's a search engine and it's TikTok. I don't know what it means. I don't care what it means. I don't know what anything about it. I just know when I post things on there, people find it. <laughs> so I just take long form, put it on the YouTube because that's long form. I, I or in, in anywhere they'll let me put a long form, I'll try to put it there. And then the sh then there's short videos. These are like less than a minute. Okay, I stick them wherever they let me put those. <laughs> and so that's how I look at it. I don't have really a favorite. I just, are there people there? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put my stuff there because I'm looking for people that have this problem. And the only way that I'm going to find out if they have that problem is by posting something that says, do you have this problem? If you do, I can help you solve it. Come over here. I'll show you something for free and earn your trust and earn everything. And then, you know, uh, let me continue to try to help you. And that's and then I just lead with value everywhere I go, and it has always worked out for me. Um, but I don't really play around with LinkedIn much. I probably should. Okay, my my favorite ones are I've been jacking around with that Twitter's thing or Threads or whatever. But the thing that I'm uh, in, enjoying the most right now is let me pull this back up. Is I'm really enjoying. I, I've been trying to figure out the bird thing. Not too successful there. I love YouTube just because I'm a video forward type person. I'm like, I could type something, I could create an audio, I could do a slideshow of pictures, or I can just click my camera on and say record and go, hey, <laughs> how's it going? Need your yard mode? You know, I, that's how I look at this. And I think people make it more than that and they just bog themselves down. Just go out there and literally solve their problem. Literally just go solve their problem for them in a video. And I use to I need something to draw on, so I find a little software like Miro here, so I can draw and put pictures on stuff. Um, anything that helps me get the point across, okay. And I don't worry about who else is doing this. I don't worry about what else anything. I'm just trying to help who I can help because if I have a thousand people, Burton, paying me ninety seven dollars a month, I can eat where I want, I can go where I want, I can help who I want, I can wear a new shirt every day. You know, those kinds of things can happen, right? So I don't get too concerned. There's so many people out there. I'm not too concerned with anything other than the fact that where are they at? And I got to get them to come over here and check this out. Now, where do we put it? Well, I build this over in system.io just because it's cheap and easy and it works. Mm -hmm. And on all these platforms now, this is where I put the stuff. So anybody that goes to my any of my profiles, anything, Okay, it's a good song if you guys haven't heard it, if you guys like reggae. <laughs> okay, let me, um, sorry, I'm trying to be real. I'm not AI. Okay, so I'm going to channel here. So in my channel, I have make money doing what you love. If they click this burden, can you see this? Can you see this right here? Can you see my mouse? Right, yes. Yeah. If they click that, guess what? They go to my funnel. This is my funnel right here. You can't go anywhere. I used to have elaborate websites and oh my gosh, and you know, everything and look at me. I don't have any of that stuff anymore. It makes the same money, works all the same. And I have to do less stuff. All I have is my 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 funnel here. I treat 
I treat my blog or my website is just all this stuff out here on social media. I just, this is this, you want to learn about me? There's 448 videos you can watch to learn about me. Okay. So I just put content out here. Okay. Four steps to earn online, online coaching business. And I'm learning this stuff too. I'm not, you know, Mr. Beast or any of these big YouTubers, but it doesn't matter. This channel still makes me a lot of money. Some of you on here right now, maybe found me on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just working um, long. I'm thinking long-term you're, you want to build out a suite, but for those that can't get traffic, my question is how many down in the comments, how many of you guys having trouble getting traffic? I like it. No issues with it. How do you like it? Yes, I have. Okay. How long does it usually take to set this up and build that? Well, Alicia or Alicia, <clears throat> sorry if I'm saying it wrong to set up everything in build lab. I'll tell you right now, I can have everything set up in a day, me personally, but I built it and I know everything about this damn thing. So obviously I should be able to do that. Um, but I think if you just get in there and focus, I don't know why you wouldn't have this ready to go at least set up and at least connected to everything and have your funnel and email automations there and, and accessible. Yeah. You might need to go in and tweak a headline and you're always testing and tweaking until it converts the way you want it to. And I'll share and help you with that. But, you know, just give yourself a week or something, right? I don't, it's hard to answer that without knowing the rest of your life either, you know, but if you're just sitting there hardcore doing it, and if you want it to like actually be generating and working, I don't know why, unless you're just, lazy and not paying attention to this thing or you're not trying hard okay and i'm not being rude or anything i'm just being honest it happens there's laziness out there believe it or not i've been guilty of it um you as long as you're just getting with it and you're following it and you're not trying you're coachable and you're and you really are trying to do this okay there's there's dreaming about it i'm not even going to go into it you get it there's no reason in a month you're not getting some real action and engagement or even sales in this stuff. Okay. I mean, I've had people get sales in their first weekend. They set it all up, but they've had a little experience. I don't know where you're at with it. So um, depending on your experience level or where you're coming from, um, you know, that's going to just change. I'm a high performer. Okay. So there you go. You get it done and you're a woman. So you'll probably get it done even faster, right? Women are amazing. You want something done, just give it to a busy woman. Um, I have all this in Kajabi. Yeah, if you can do Kajabi, then you can set up system.io like like no problem. Kajabi's like trying to decode a bomb or something. I don't know. I didn't I didn't really like it. I've had them all. Um so anyway, uh back to your thing Burton here. So listen, what I'm doing Burton is I am every one of my social profiles. We go to TikTok. You can't get there's no way to even do anything with me without going through the funnel. Like if you click here, if you go to makeonce.com, look, free video, how to make money doing what you love. Click on that, guess where you're gonna end up? On this page. <laughs> and then it says open anyway. So then you go straight to the funnel. If you go to my Twitter, everywhere you go, it there's no way, nothing's gonna, you're not gonna go anywhere except for to my funnel. Because my biggest concern is getting your email because I can't rely on social media to get in front of you again. I can't, I'm not gonna do that, right? I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to get in front of you. I want to show you that I can help you by actually helping you for free. I want to build trust with you. I want to build a connection with you. I, I want to just show you that we can do it by actually just showing you that we can do it. And then if you want to work with me closer, you want to get on four hours a week with me or, you know, you don't have to, but it's, I'm there every Monday and Thursday at two different times. And you want to jump in a community where we're, everybody's trying to accomplish the same thing. And we're all working together, helping each other. Um, you know, a lot of magic happens when you get a bunch of people trying to achieve the same goal together in the same room on the same path. It's a really it speeds things up dramatically. Um, so that's, you know, then that's, that's that. Right. Um, and then we talk later on about how you can go up to higher ticket or, or even higher ticket and different products and different things like that. But for most people, if they're brand new and they're trying to get this going, for most people, they need, and and even myself still, one funnel, one solid kick butt offer. And, you know, there's there's always a controversy between like, or there's always a contradiction between, you know, do you, do you go high ticket first or do you go low ticket? It's not a or, it's an and, and it's time in between. I, you know, I was never a low ticket person. I've always been high ticket. I've made a lot of money doing that. 
more money than I've ever made in anything else. But I'm also now building a low ticket. I have a high ticket. I have a low ticket. And the low ticket is like the incubator. They get in there, 97 bucks a month, or they can pay, you know, 45 bu- or 49 bucks or whatever it is a month if they buy for the whole year, right? So they got two payment options. I'm incubating in there. People are in there. They're 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 doing it themselves, but they also get live support twice a week. So that's really valuable to them. It's I mean, what they're getting is ridiculous for for what they're paying, frankly. Um, and it's all recorded. That incubates people, and they go, "Well, Mike, I want more of you, or I want the next thing." So then they pay the next level, and they get more of me, right? And then if they want to, they can pay even more, and they can meet with other people that are very successful all doing the same thing and that's a mastermind and then you charge and now we're meeting literally in person right like four times a year and you're with other people and so you have this product suite okay and you can do one or all but starting a paid subscription community i feel is one of the best places to start okay why because you can charge people anywhere from let's say i mean charge them anything you want right i've seen all kinds but I like to see around 50 to a hundred dollars a month or, you know, like 40, 47 to $97 a month or 99, you know? Um, And you get a thousand people paying you 49 bucks a month. You're going to be okay. You'll get to the next step. Right. Uh, Or or you might get even 2000. What if it took you a year and you had a thousand people paying you 97 bucks a month? Most people can live okay off of that, especially when there's no overhead. Hardly you can do it all by yourself. And you become extremely educated at what it is that you do to help people solve their problems even more. You help a lot of people in the long run, in the, in the, in the, you know, long run. Yeah. And then you have a monthly recurring revenue model. And even if a couple people leave each month because they got what they wanted or they're just done with it, whatever the case is, if you're doing your marketing and you're doing everything else correctly, you should be getting more people in each month, right? And this is just something that you're doing that's going to then incubate people into those higher prices. But I'm telling you what, most people on here right now, okay, I don't know you. Maybe you're, you know, you got Rolls Royces 10 deep in your garage. I don't know. But most I, people. I had millions and lost. Yeah. So, so uh, once, yeah. once you once you start, there's nothing you can't really do in your life unless you've got some kind of like airplane diet or something. Um, I had an airplane. Yeah. Two sail boats. There you a go. Boat so, in the Caribbean. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, you you don't, I mean, 97 grand a month in the digital space here is a lot. Okay. You can do whatever the heck you want and you can decide what you want to do from there. So I don't even really talk about the money so much because it's like, it's there, right? Um, you just, the biggest problem I see people have is they, number one, they don't have this machine. Okay. Number one, they don't have the machine set up. They're they're doing too many things. They've got all these offers, all these complicated, crazy manual things going on. So they're wasting all this time and energy. They don't have a funnel. They and if they do have a funnel, it's way too complicated or crazy. And it's just not working because it's it's all jumbly. Okay. They're not posting consistently on social media. And, and and the things that they are posting because they're uneducated about it and they're just winging it like I did for so long, which I would go back and slap myself. They're winging it instead of just going to somebody that's already doing it successfully and saying, what do I do? And then go do it. And then they don't have this follow-up machine down here, which is where all the money is made. All your money is made down here. I don't care if you're running ads, running down the street, or doing organic, I don't care what you're doing, all of it's made down here. People need to know, like, and trust you. They're not gonna it's like it's like trying to go date somebody. If you if a man if stranger man walked into the bar to a stranger girl and walked up to her and said, Hi, my name's Bill. Wanna have sex? She's like, you know, or whatever, whatever man, woman, bird, whatever. Okay. Yeah. You if if you if if the guy walked in there though and said, Hey, I'm new here. How's it going? Oh, I like your shoes. Can I buy you a drink? Hey, you want to go play darts? Maybe tomorrow we can get coffee. The likelihood of that event happening now is a hundred times more likely. And that's this down here. That's this down here. And it's just not happening out there. And so people are saying, well, this, this doesn't work for me. 
No, you're just, you're mowing your grass with your scissors and you're, you know, you're doing all this crazy stuff that you're just wasting time and energy and you don't know how to actually post to get somebody's attention. The beauty of this machine, though, is once it's built and going, it goes 24-7, 365, and you just need to keep an eye on it because things change. And and yeah. when they do, you adjust. I've made all the mistakes you've talked about. <laughs> yeah, you and everybody I've else 40, on you. Yeah. I've, you know, I put 40 articles in my website. Uh, I've done some YouTube stuff. I... I work hard. Now I have lots of time. I'm retired. Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, it's, I, uh, I'm aware of the problem. Yeah. Uh, I've reached that point. I'm aware of the issue. I'm not the, uh, you know, the unaware. Uh, yeah. And yeah. actually over the years, we've had some internet marketing companies and that, but I wasn't the tech guy. I was the business guy. Yeah, no. It's, you know, the, the thing that, uh, that I'm hearing with you, Burton, if, you know, if you're, you're retired now and you're working on other things to me, you know, obviously you've, you've got the expertise, you've been around long enough to have the wisdom to do everything. This is the problem that I see. I've done, I've done the same problem myself. Um, luckily i just got around people that are like dude quit spinning your wheels quit acting dumb go find somebody that has already done this and just take it from them they're giving it to you just pay them a little bit and you'll learn this stuff and just start doing it and that's what i did and then once this is all set up the next big problem that happens here and it's the hardest thing of it all is being consistent you're just not consistent that's it yeah no i'm very consistent i uh i follow my kpis <laughs> just yeah there's just a lot of noise out there and really in those 5500 connections on linkedin there's there's money there i just have to get those people into an email list so 500 of them go in the email list there's a start and I'm, I mean, right now, I guess I'm, I'm only getting like uh, six, seven hundred unique views on my website a month. That's not doing much. Uh, how how often are you are you posting content and ads? Uh, I'm not doing any ads. Okay. I uh, I do uh, two hundred DMs a week, fifty percent connect. I do, uh, I post every day in LinkedIn pretty much. I do, uh, for the last four weeks, I've done a live session on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, I I write articles on my website. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I haven't been doing as much on YouTube. I really don't get much traffic on YouTube. Uh, yeah, all so, of these things that you do, you know, when you're out here doing social media. So like this is like my favorite little combination of events that when I get this chiming, like if I'm doing all four of these things right here, boy, the the sales and the and the growth just comes right along with it. Uh and that is I I tend to stick to these platforms right here. I post a long form video on on YouTube. I chop it up and stick it on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok as a short form. And Do I you use a, a tool to break it up for you, like to auto post to those. Yeah. Short so form sites? I don't, the, the best thing to do if you're really trying to be efficient, which is typically the name of the game. Yeah. Um, you know, you would just, the ideal way to do it assuming you've got some money to spend on outsourcing or help mm -hmm. the idea would be just create a good video each day and then google doc it over to your guy they'll edit the video chop out the good chunks and then post it on all these platforms for you that's the ideal way to do it have somebody that's you know very understanding of the platforms and then you figure out a good pace and cadence and and 
and way to talk to the camera so that they can actually, and they'll typically they'll coach you. They'll say, Hey, can you like say it and then answer it? You know, that kind of thing. And then you can create videos. They'll post them all out there for you. And then what you're really doing is trying to get better and better and better at creating your, your videos, or in other words, the message from your brand to the people. And then you're constantly trying to focus on your product. You're always over here. And that's why I'm showing you this screen right now. So my day, this is like command center and daily focus. It's like, I've got my funnel. I've got my email automations. I've got my product build lab. I've got my customer support stuff. And then I've got my daily schedule and then I've, and I'm, here's how I'm posting, you know, the, the content. So it's like posting content, going to the funnel, funnel, go into the emails from the emails. They go into build lab. I support them. And then I keep cranking on my schedule, which then all the stuff that I'm learning about my people inside of the program, inside of build lab. And when I'm going live and stuff like that, if I go live on TikTok or any of those things that you can do on any platform, that's where I'm learning so much to improve my content that I'm creating and to improve your content at the end of the day, here's what you're doing. You're really good at getting people's attention that are having the symptoms of the pain that you can solve. You're really good at getting their attention and then you're good at helping them be able to make a decision to buy your product. I just look at marketing as educating people about what it is that we do to help them solve their problem and relating and connecting to them. Sales is nothing other than just helping somebody make a decision that is in their best interest in the end. Yeah. Sales isn't a problem for me. Yeah. It's yeah. more the marketing side. Marketing is just literally, you're just educating people about your, you know, people are wanting to see, you know, are you an expert? And they also want like to connect with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially in a business, like, like what we do here beings that you know, we're literally coaching and, and and teaching people stuff, online education. But the big thing is, is when you're doing your marketing, it's all about relating to them so that they can go, oh, they get me. They understand. That's what they should be going. Oh, that's exactly what I'm dealing with. Like you said just a minute ago, those are all the problems that I'm having. Right. And then they can actually, they actually connect with you and like you, they, they, they see, oh, this is, you know, I, I like this person. I can, I can work with them. And then they want your expertise. So when I'm doing marketing, I'm constantly just trying to connect with them, let them know that I understand where they're at and what's going on. And then I'm trying to give them as much value as I possibly can so that they say, if this is what he's just going to give me for free, I can't imagine what it would be like working with him on with his with in his program or his product or his, his, his coaching thing. And, and that's is, you know, it's like, if you, when you're feeding the cows, if you pet, if you start petting one of them, it'll always come up to you and it's just your friend. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. and you know, it's like, it's, I keep it this simple. I used to complicate this so much. And I'm like, nobody cares what I look like. Nobody cares what I sound like. All they care about is, can this guy help me? And yeah. if I can show them that I can help them and I can make the path from A to B as simple and as fast and easy as possible. And they can have fun along the way, laugh with me a little bit. It works. Yeah. And, and 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 they bring you more. And then if you keep making your product better, you know. Um, let's see. Is it harder to sell higher price memberships over hundred? It's really not. It listen, when you're selling something, the way you price your thing is you de you determine how you're pricing your product based off the value. Okay. And people hear that all the time, but they don't quite understand what that means. The example that I can give that makes it simple, and maybe there's a, a you know a better example. It's never a price problem, ever a price problem. It's a belief problem. And the 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 big thing though, more than anything, is when you go to sell something more expensive, you just need to make sure that it makes sense and it's justifiable. Right. So with the martial arts business owners that I was helping back in the day. I sold them a $5,800 program and they got two calls a week. They had a, a, a digital program that took them from the steps A to B. And then they had a private group that they were a part of. So they had live support community. They had weekly live Zoom support with me and you know we could collab and Q&A. And then they had a digital program that they could go through, $5,800, okay? 
how can a martial arts business owner justify spending $5,800 to learn how to set this stuff up that we've been talking about today? Well, their average student only paid them 150 bucks a month, but their average student stayed with them for about 12 to 16, 12 to 18 months. Or in other words, we just wrapped it up and said, each student, okay, if the average one is staying 12 to 18 months and each student's paying on average 150, each student's worth about 1800 bucks to you. So if in a course of you, if you buy this program one time, spend 5,800, I have to get you six or seven students that stay with you for the average amount of time that you said that they stay with you. And now you've, you're in ROI with me, you're, you're paid off with me and everything's gravy. And now you've got a skill that nobody can take from you. And you've got unlimited access to support and a community that's going to help you go further and further and further down this, getting more and more students. So therefore it's really easy to justify the, the 5,800, whatever you're charging just needs to be justifiable. Build Lab, if people actually knew what they were getting for $3 a day, and they actually knew where it was going and what it was going to be for 3 bucks a day, they, they would feel silly paying 3 bucks a day. They'd feel like they need to pay more. Because what I'm going to teach you in there could pay you, could make six and seven figures for you. So should I charge you that? Right? It's like, no, I'm going at it like, hey, um, I want this accessible to everybody. I want this accessible to the new person. And... I'm going to make it very inexpensive. I'm going to make it the same price of, a, of an energy drink or coffee, which people drink every day. So um, the communities on school really great. Yes, the, the, the program that we use, I want to tell you guys about this if you're not using it, okay? Um, and if you guys want, I have links to everything so that it's pre-set up for you. But we have a program that we use to put all of our program in and that we work with. And it is called School. And this program here is awesome because it has your community, the classroom, or in other words, where you put your course. It's got a calendar for those weekly Q&A calls that you do. They just click on the calendar and then, well, hell, let's just go to, let's just go in there right now. So inside of Build Lab here, if you click on the calendar, you can go and see that every Monday and Thursday, you can click on these and you can just register right here for a free Zoom, kind of like what we're doing right now. It just gets a lot more intimate. And I go for about two hours at a time. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll, I mean, the other day I went four hours. <laughs> so if it's a good call, I'll just keep doing it. I'm here to help you. All right. So it has that. It shows all your members in here. It's got leaderboards where you can say, you can set something up in here. And as people uh, post in the community and engage with people, they get points. Whoever gets, you know, more points, they go through these different levels here. And I could say at level eight, hey, you get a full, uh, you know, day with me and we can work through everything and ever, anybody who gets to level eight. Well, what does this do? Well, this causes people to uh, engage. When they start engaging and, act, and doing action inside of your program, what happens? They start getting results. They start meeting new people. They actually get the result. They actually get more connected to it. So it's a gamification feature in here that works really well. Your page has its own little landing page here. And this thing's about ready to get more and more and more. But we've got 277 members in there, uh, paying anywhere from 97 a month to 597 a year. We've got a classroom in here with all these things are hidden in the background, but you have your program in here. So you can just put your own course in here. I show you how to do all this. That's what Build Lab is. It shows you how to set all this stuff up and it gives you everything that you need. But here's this program. And you can put your courses in here. You can put links to anything else down here for action items or any resources they need. And then it has, I put the transcript of the video in there. It's not necessary, but you can come up here and I can type in like, you know, funnel. And then I can hit that. And anywhere we talked about funnel in the classroom, it'll show you every module where I talk about funnels. Or if I go to the community, there's 210 instances where we talked about funnels. Or you can go to members and it'll show you what members have funnel in their name or they've talked about funnels. So it's a search engine too for your content, which allows people to get to the answer faster. So who, who, who's got a question in here about anything that we have talked about? Now, why do you not use system IO versus school? You just find school has a lot more features. Is that so system has all, it has a, a community. I know that's recent. They put that in there. It has the um, membership thing. It ha, it ha, system.io ultimately it has does. Course. Yeah. yeah, it has ultimately everything. 
Um, and you can use system.io for that. I just use system.io for my funnel. And I use it for um, whenever I need a web page, I can just throw a web page together for like emails and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I use it for. This uh, school right here, it was um, designed by the guy that taught me all of this stuff years ago. And it's designed specifically for online education businesses. So it has everything inside of it that an online education business would want and need with just one single login. And soon, uh, and it's got an app with it. And soon it's going to have um, where you can just upload, instead of uploading your videos to YouTube or Wistia or any of those things, you'll just upload your videos straight to uh, school here. And it's probably going to transcribe them automatically. It's probably going to, you know, do every, it's just a very, very simple, simple platform that works really, really well. And it just makes life easy. Everything's right here. Um, it's just, for me, it works, it works beautifully and it's simple. Um, so yeah. Uh, and you can, you know, you can, you can also make a free group here and you can get people into it no different than you would sort of like a Facebook group, but the ability to actually convert people over and not be distracted by all the junk in Facebook that you see everywhere on the sides and distractions and everything. This is just a clean classroom that's designated to do one thing and one thing only. And that is get the person, the result that you said your school group could get them. And then everybody has their own little place here and leaderboards and you can pin stuff. It's really, it's, it's amazing. Like it has changed mm -hmm. the game. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see here. I want to what else? Best ninety seven a month I've spent. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate you. Is it harder to sell? It's not harder to sell high price stuff. You're just talking to people that it's not expensive. I, I, I think I value is subjective though, also because I mean ninety seven dollars to you may not be what ninety seven dollars is to me. Well, but at the same time, the way I look at it, and you're very right, Todd. At the same time, the way I look at it is. I'm not concerned with the people that can't afford it. Mm -hmm. I'm right. only concerned with the people that can afford it or will figure out a way to afford it. Just like, you know, a lot of people buy gym equipment and they never get in shape. Is it the right. gym equipment's fault? You know, is it the price? It's like, I'm, you know, if I'm sharing, you know, I've got products that are 9,800 or 5,800, you know, the person I'm talking to there, I'm not talking to them, uh, in the beginner mindset, I'm talking to them like, Hey, let's, let's make things happen faster. Let's smooth things out. You know, let's, they're, they're not, money's not the concern so much. Of course, more is more. They're more concerned with getting things that they can't buy, which is time. And right, so yeah. if, for them, I'm trying to, they're buying time from me more than anything. And everybody's buying time from me at the end of the day, they're coming in here and they're, they're trying to, not have to figure out the funnel themselves. It's already figured out. Mike gives it to me and then shows me what buttons to click. And now it's like the difference of building your car to drive it versus Mike already built the car. Now he's going to show me how to steer it down the road. So but you're multiplying your time, right? You're you've got 500 people pay you $97 a month. I've got 30 people paying me 50 bucks us a class. Uh, duplication but, of effort but i'm putting a lot of effort into it but mm -hmm. and that and um yeah so i have to move more to passive income and yeah. more to to group and uh yeah and i i realized that I really i mean when i was in business i made a lot more money uh, right and uh it was just, it's just kind of stupid. The, actually, the English teaching business is kind of a stupid business. But for my <laughs> clients, they're executives, they're IT people. Mm -hmm. uh, they make good money. Uh, but if they speak English well, with my business experience, they can make two, three times as much money. That's right. So their ROI is really high. And I I mean, I, I should be charging at least a hundred bucks 
a class, not 50 bucks. It's just, it's, just it's really easy. invaluable. Like, I mean, if I show somebody, if somebody pays me 97 bucks a month and let's say they pay me for three to six months or whatever, yeah, let's call it three to $600, but I teach them how to make three to $600 a day for the rest yeah. of their life. I mean, it, it pays out real quick. It's it just, it's almost yeah. like a no brainer to me. The only difference between me not having 10,000 people or, or uh, you know, what I've got now is just a, an awareness thing. It's just, I'm, I just literally started, I just launched build lab here in February. So it's just a time. It's great. Yeah. So here's the thing, you know, a lot of people are putting in a ton of effort and they're getting very little return. This is the problem that I see with people. They're not, they're getting leveraged. <laughs> You're either leveraging yeah. or getting leveraged. And yeah. so what I found was like, how can I put in the least amount of time and get the most ROI out of it? Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, the best thing I could do is just clone myself and have my clone do everything and then give me all of its money. And so I was like, well, what's the next best thing? Well, I guess I'm going to have to get a machine that can record me. Like right now, this is being recorded mm -hmm. and I can email this out to my list. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can put it on YouTube. I can do tons of stuff with it, right? And so when I created, like right now, I'm then thinking, well, how can I follow up with people without having to manually DM them, without having to chase them around the internet, without having to do all these manual things where I'm literally having to you know, trade time to do this? How can I automate this? Okay, email automations. And they actually like it better because it's on, they can open the email when they want to. They can watch the video when they want to. And, you know, th this is giving them the choice back. So it's just another great thing. And then I'm asking myself, well, how can they just get all the information, get signed up? How can I, you know, do any action and then make it last longer, you know, have a longer tail to it? And that's where we landed in this online education space. Um, and it's such a great thing. And this this is what I I I've lived this and I, I see people living it all the time. They're doing something they hate doing. Or they're doing something that's just, you know, they're doing it for the sake of like, oh, I don't know what else I could do or anything. And yet there are thousands and thousands of people. I know a guy that literally teaches people, te well, teaches people how to teach their horse, horse ballet, that are doing 60 plus thousand a month with an online course teaching horse ballet, teaching wow. underwater basket weaving, teaching landscaping <laughs> techniques, teaching how to, you know, do... I mean, it's literally endless what you could, if anybody's trying to know something and they want to know it and you know it already, or can pull together the resources so they would have it to know it, you're the facilitator in such a way. If I had 20 people paying me a thousand bucks a month, I'm going to live better than most people. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I want people that, well, I want to start a business I want to make more than the average bear. I want more options. I want to be able to do more. And I'd like to do something each day that I actually enjoy or have interest in. And I'm like, well, you're you're working, you're working for somebody else making them money, or you're doing this other thing and you're putting energy and, and everything into that and you don't even like it. Why not take your interests, really skill up in it, know what it is, and know how to actually help the person get from A to B. And then say, hey, you know, for 47 a month or 97 a month or whatever you want to charge, I'll help you do this thing. And then you just get to focus on that each day. You make more. You can work from anywhere. It's actually helpful. And it's economy proof. And you can really just kind of draw out your own schedule with it as long as they're getting the result. And so... um. Yeah, I, I just I love this space. I think you know it's made it's made my life completely different, and it can it can really help people. But more than anything, with this, it's it's being able to it's being able to actually get your time back that you can't get more of, and and still be able to do everything that you need to do. This machine allows you to do it. If you're an expert, if you're somebody, this is not for you if you don't like creating videos. <laughs> This is not for you if you do not like helping people learn things. This is not for you if you don't like to, you know, solve people's problems. 
in whatever category that may be how to fish right i mean it doesn't matter what it is you just need to love what you do be passionate about it care about it and you should be able to get consistent results with what you're doing consistently be able to get people you know to point b and at the end of the day you just you just got to care and you you got to be willing to be the person that's going to show up and do it it's not going to just do it so what I want to do, um, and I'll, I just want to answer questions for you guys. You guys can hammer me with any question. It doesn't have to just be about this. Um, I mean, you know, what we're just initially talking about here, but I'll help you with any part of it. But anybody that gets started today, so that's before tomorrow, <laughs> um, anybody that gets started with Build Lab today, um, I'm going to take all those people and do a very private and personal training for them and, you know, that's going to be pretty awesome because there's going to be some new things unfolding in that. Uh, and that'll happen in the following week. Um, I'm building it up right now and you guys will get that personal training. Um, and also, you know, anybody that's a part of build lab, you guys get, uh, you know, reduction in everything that I do forward. So that's just a little offer uh, for you, but you know, I don't want you to join unless you're really serious about this. Cause I don't want to waste your time. Um, and I just, I don't want, I'm not here to hurt nobody. I'm here to help you. Um, so let's see here. Uh, any questions? Does anybody, anybody with any questions? Jay, Alicia, uh, Rubidium, Tamisha, Alicia, Ryan, anybody? You've often said, you've often mentioned about having, uh, you know, you know, not having to have everything created before you do your, uh, at, you know, uh, not having to have everything created before you're marketing it or before you're doing lives or whatever. That's a hard concept for me because I have imposter syndrome enough with, you know, why me? But um, I've often been, and I've mentioned this on uh, lives, you know, for the build lab side of it, um, that, uh, if you're not really fast in getting things created, you know, like my work-life balance is very skewed and the, I work 10 hours a day. It's an 11 hour day with lunch. And then my ability Monday through Thursday to create content after that very intensive day, mentally intensive day. Um, I find that I only have enough bandwidth to really focus uh, for only a small amount of time. And so while I can sell the hell out of things and what, you know, I, I'm a top agent as an insurance agent, uh, getting, getting that, um, having something to sell is not necessarily the problem. It's when I'm out doing the thing or being on the live or, or having something, uh, something's got to be someone's got to be able to click on that link like i did you and be able to see that first training video or that uh that first uh laminate card or the or, or that first offer how far should i go before i should get online if i'm not going to be too terribly quick on getting future modules like a week ahead of, or two weeks ahead you know, that's been my, my, my thing is how much creation I should have to do before I can uh, get online and start really selling it and being authentic and not looking like a charlatan. Yeah. So th this thing that we're talking about is not just something that like is, um, you know, an internet marketing thing that somebody came up with this, mm -hmm. it's called agile framework. So when, when a software is building something like they're building like a software, like Threads, for instance, just launched this Threads right. platform, right? Right. Heard about it, it. It doesn't have DMs. It doesn't have hashtags. It's not complete. There's a lot of things that it's not, there's not a desktop version of it, really. It's incomplete. But what they're doing is they they sold it in a sense, or they opened it up to people, and millions and millions of people have joined. Mm -hmm. And they've only got, you know, there's all these things that need to be done. But they just had these done and got people in there. And now they're going to be listening to everybody that's on the platform. This is an ear. 
<laughs> they're going to be listening to everybody on the platform and finding out where all the gaps are and finding out where all the problems are. And so as they build it, instead of building it ahead of time, hoping people like it and it's the right thing and then having to right. tear it all down and rebuild it. Right. Especially with code, it's hard for them to do such a thing. Right. Then what happens is they they just build enough of it so that people are actively able to use it at least a little bit so that they can start getting the feedback in order to make the thing work. And that's why we do what we do with the weekly Q&A calls. Every time I get on a weekly Q&A call with my group, I'm learning so much from them that when I go to create the next module or go to create the next thing, I can create it in such a way that it really, really hits the nail on the head. Now, what do I do if I'm real busy and I can't do all this stuff? Well, at the end of the day, you've got a couple options. Option A Instead, even when you're tired and everything, you got to figure out a way to not to be right. You got to figure out a way to drum up some inner energy and you've got to stay up late, sacrifice some sleep. Yeah. And I'll be frank. I think that's where most of my hair went. So <laughs> that was kind of the option I went. And then the other thing was you can outsource it. Okay. All right. You can outsource somebody, maybe editing the videos that saves you some time. You can have, um, you know, days where you just do, uh, when you're on your day off, you just, you double down and get a bunch done. But how much do you need to have done before you can sell it? Well, frankly, let's find out if people even want it first. I see this problem all the time. People spend months, even year or more creating a course all to find out that nobody even cares about it and wants to buy it. Mm -hmm. So what you're better to do is do like a whiteboard video where you get in front of a whiteboard, as most people here have seen me do, and you get, and I just use it because I love it, but you get in front of a whiteboard here and you drive a bunch of traffic to here and on your whiteboard, you're explaining how you do it and you're making your offer and you're asking people to buy. As soon as you get, say, three to five people to buy, you've proved your concept, right? We know that people are, are taking what it is that you're offering here and they're willing to pay for it now. Okay, cool. So what you do is you'd like to get the first week, okay, or first pillar or maybe second pillar done. So you have pillar one and pillar two done. And they're working through these two pillars now. And you're going you, forward. You have to keep building. I mean, if, yeah. you know, and you're, and, and you're, but you're communicating with them because as they're going through pillar one and two, and they're going through these videos, you're also doing the weekly Q and A call with them. You're getting on the you're getting on Monday while they're going through this and Thursday and you're talking to them and helping them. And that that's huge while you're still building out the modules. And and then they also have a support community as well. And so you're in there and you're working towards that. Now you have to understand something. If you're trying to remove a job by doing this, for me, and I know everybody's different, but for me, I'm like. I won't sleep. I don't care. Like I'll go through that kind of pain and, and suffering to, to get out, you know, that's just, and not, so the other one is like more conservative approach, more uh, slower approach or whatever you will, or, or, or whatever. Then on that one, it's just going to take you longer to go. And you're probably going to have to build out some stuff and you'll probably have to just go back, which you'll have to anyway, uh, as you build it. Cause the moment you build it, it'll be ready to be updated again. Um, and then you can go in and cut out little pieces to update in the program, but you're just going to have to build it up ahead of time. And, and you're, you know, um, yeah, that's, yeah. So Alicia says, I love this guy. That is so me. I will go all in and then sleep for a week. Yeah. It's pretty much, pretty much how it goes. Um, but it, it's, it's just knowing that you're, as long as you're communicating, you're a charlatan would be like, If you're feeling that way, it's not because other people are thinking that of you. It's because you're thinking that yourself. But the big thing is realizing, hey, guys, I'm in here twice a week live with you to help you as we unfold and we build this together. Right. And, and I'm you just have thinking to about the judgment. That. I'm just thinking about I know I'm not I know I'm not a charlatan, but I'm saying is, is that I know. Uh, I'm imagining the judgment coming from the uh, people that would watch me. And that's why, 
you know, it's uh, it's hard because it's uh, everybody's judgment is subjective anyway. But if you um, people like uh, uh, to ask about money, they like to ask about your success. And they think that by putting that into an open chat during a live that, you know, they're helping you, but uh, or maybe they're just trying to, to challenge you because they, they haven't been sold on your authority yet or uh, in that in that space. So um, having something organic uh, is great, but having that product to buy that they can click and purchase right then and there, like what you had uh, with Build Lab was, was the clincher for me because I saw you seven times. Just You just came up one day, you just came up on my TikTok just as I was scrolling through the, mm. the lives and, and I, I had never seen you before. And uh, one day the algorithm just gave me to you, gave you to me. And then I liked the hat. I liked the make once. I liked how you branded yourself. I like how you present yourself, how you stood, how you, how you looked at the camera and looked at the whiteboard and how you just packaged everything. Cause I see a lot of myself in you in that regard and, and how I present. So, um, when uh, when I decided to buy, it wasn't. I, I had seen you seven times and had spent numerous times uh, trying to interact with you, and then you called me cool, and then I was sold. So you know that was <laughs> a nice thing. Um, well, yeah. Know, so you saying that though, it's it's it's. Listen, the I've obviously had some time behind the camera, and and I've done this, you know, several times. You know, so I it can look a lot more polished, you know, at the beginning, it wasn't. And I remember in the beginning, here's, here's what I, first off, I don't really, I, I never have been this way. I don't get offended easy. I don't, I don't care what anybody says to me. It's just words. It just doesn't, I'm not affected that way. I don't care what right. they're doing. And right. th my way of getting through everything was, Hey, if you think I'm full of crap, how about I just show you exactly what to do? <laughs> like instead of yeah. me saying it will do it how about i just show you i'm like instead of me saying listen no promise i pr listen i can fly i'm serious i'm serious and look see he's really important he even says that i can fly instead of trying that game out i'm like guys watch this come outside here watch you guys watching and i fly right so what i you know and that's that's what i do and i'm thinking well i could be like everybody else and then nobody would be able to see me because i'd be like everybody else so why don't I just be me? And why don't, if people don't like it, then obviously they're not going to buy from me anyway, but the you people that do them. like me, yeah. they will. And so it's such an easier thing to do to just be yourself. Although it's hard to be yourself. Um, it's, it's just be yourself, show them, help them demonstrate to them, give them everything you got. And then, They'll come to you. You it, Zig Ziglar said it best, uh, and I've lived by this forever. If you help everybody else get what you they want, you don't have to worry about what it is you want. It'll be there. And so I've stuck to that. It's worked out extremely well. And in this case, just go out there and help people for free. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Just help them for free and then say, hey, I'm building this program. Anybody that wants to join right now, as I'm building it, they get 50% off. And then as soon as it, and you get locked in at that number. And then as soon as it's complete, it goes up to 97. But right now you can get in for 45 or whatever, 49, wait, it's 47. Okay. Right. And, and so you're giving them a little bit there, there and guys, you build it with me, you know, and they, people promote what they create. And so, the, and they're with you through that first journey. The first time it's, you know, it's a little bit, you, you you know your your pants don't match your shirt you know there's all these things happening like it's scary but then, you, but then you get better you know you get better and and you start to learn more you communicate better and you just that's the biggest problem is people don't take that first leap or they're they're worried about things they don't need to be worried about which is right. okay that's why we're here i'm telling you though the best thing to do is lay out the entire blueprint. What does it take to get somebody from point A to point B? It needs to be lean, mean, and scrappy. And then just start recording that thing, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Just make sure that the point gets across and that it's, you know, it sounds somewhat decent and the lights in front of you and not in behind you. And then do your best on your calls with them and just communicate to them. It's, it's the good old fashioned guys. I know. I know, 
I'm kind of fat right now, but just we're working on this to get skinny together. You know, it's like, you're kind of just putting yourself out there. It's the way it goes and it just will grow. It really will. As long as you're helping people posting on social media, just document what you're doing. Hey guys, today I built another pillar for my program. It's over this. And uh, you know what? Matter of fact, let me show you some things that I that I put together in that that I'll give you right now. I'll give you a couple of them right now in this video. All right. And if you want more and you want to join me along with this journey, click down below in the description. There's a link down there. You can go get a free training. I'll explain what it is that I do to help you solve your problem with learning how to swim in the ocean. And uh, I'll matter of fact, I'll give you, you know, a couple couple tips that'll get you going right away. You know, and you're and they're like, okay, you know. It's kind of like the meat on the end of the stick, right? In the in the Chinese food in the in the mall, they're like, mm -hmm. you know, try it, and then you try it, like, ah, oh, I'll have a whole plate. So that's kind yeah. of what you're doing with the content is your is your meat on a stick. Let them eat it. They'll come in and get more, and they'll get closer to you. But posting consistently, you'll learn your message. You'll be able to create your videos faster. Uh, Mike. Can I speak for a minute? Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, first of all, Todd, I was in the insurance business for over 30 years. I, I worked at USAA. <laughs> yeah, I worked, uh, I specialized in engineering, architectural liability. Oh, cool. Very, very good business. Um, and now, Mike, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sold. Do you, so did you have a, some kind of special to enter the program for this? this seminar i mean i was just going to do a a, a a private training for everybody that got started right. uh today so right. um and usually in those private trainings like that i mean i was the one i was considering because i'm i'm getting a guy trained up that's gonna help me do mm -hmm. some stuff for my mid-tier product i was thinking we could jump in on that live call and you know one of the things that everybody has uh the biggest trouble with it seems like in the beginning is just getting the whole machine set up and put together. Mm -hmm. So I thought on that private training, I would just go through live with a, a, a an account and you guys could literally in that one video, probably in an hour or two, you guys could probably have your whole machine set up. Then you can dive into build lab and you've already got your machine going. Yeah. So, you know, that I thought would be very powerful. And, and that was kind of the deal I was going, mm -hmm. um, you know, at 97 a month, I feel like, you know, it's kind of a no brainer, um, you know, so, or, or you can do the yearly thing, you know, and, and save 50%. But mm -hmm. um, as far as pricing, I feel like it's, it's yeah, already sure. silly cheap, you know, so. Yeah. Um, so um, now will you send me um, something? You know? Yeah. So um you guys can go to HTTPS. I'll put it in the chat right now. Makewants.com forward slash join build lab. And that will take you right to the sales page. And you guys, all of you that are on here are already on the email list. So there's any of the emails that you've ever gotten from me. You could go into them, click into any of them, and it'll take you to one of my value train pages. And there's a yellow button at the bottom where you can get started. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do some more of these Zooms. If you guys like them, it sounds like uh, people are liking them. Thank you, Mike. This was awesome. Can't wait to die. Oh, so, yeah, this was very good. Yeah, no, and it's fun for me. And I like to just do them like this, whether that's the right way or wrong way. I don't know, but um I am going to get out of here uh, pretty much in the next few minutes here, probably the next 10 minutes, unless somebody's got some crazy questions I can help with. But I want more than anything, I, I'm trying to also demonstrate to you uh, as well what you can do when you have like an email list. Now, there's a lot more people registered, but the old 80-20 principle is it's hard to hard to fight that thing. Um, but, you know, this is who showed up and I'm so grateful for every one of you. But what I would really like to know is, you know, what kind of content you guys would like more of. Um, I would love to know where you guys are stuck. And so when I email and do things like that, you just reply back and say, you know, man, I'm really struggling here. And more times than not, I'll just create the answer in a video and reply back to you. Um, a lot of I'm times. Stuck. 
a lot of times in build lab, I'll just literally go up and create a, a short video for people, private, like personal video and say, boom, here's what I would do. And so my core focus right now is in, in build lab and getting this to a thousand members here by the end of the year. I think we can do it a lot faster than that. I'm going to be launching an affiliate program for you guys as well. So anybody that you would bring to build lab and if they got started, as long as you and them are a member, you'll get 50% of the commission that they're paying me. So just do easy math here. Let's say it was a hundred bucks and you, you told somebody to come to build lab and you get $50 a month for every month that they're a member and you're a member. So you can be learning and earning at the same time. And I mean, if you had, you send a hundred people to me at 50 bucks a pop, that's five grand a month. <laughs> so, you know, while minus you, your $98, not, minus yeah. your $97. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I, I'm just here to help you guys. Listen, I'm not, you don't have to do anything. Okay. I'm just a good old boy from Kansas looking out my window at the grass and uh, I just love this stuff and I want to help you guys. And I just figured if I try to help as many people with this as possible, I'll be able to wear the kind of shoes I like and, and everybody will be happy. You know what I mean? So um, anybody that has any questions, you can email me, Mike at make Um, I put it in the chat there. Will you also help pricing uh, with pricing in the group. Yes, everything. So anything that is involved with starting and growing an online education business, I help you with all the way down to the types of lights I use, <laughs> the camera, the the mics. Uh, I do this thing. It's I haven't done it in a little while, but it, I'm, I'm going to kick it back up again. It, it was this daily gravity where I was popping a video each day, just I literally sharing something that I'm doing in my office that's helping me. Mm -hmm. um, my goal is just to get you to, you know, your, my, my first goal with you is to get you to a thousand leads, you know, have your system set up and, you know, have your product ready and all that stuff and, you know, ready to do business. Okay. You got your store put together and product and all that stuff and get you to your first thousand leads. Because then I know, you know, from there, you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 50 sales and now you've got 10 to 50 monthly recurring members. And then we're going to keep, now we're going to try to get a thousand leads in a month. And then we're going to try to get several hundred leads a day. And we're going to try to do this with organics. And then I'll show you how to do ads and retargeting if you want. And then I'm going to show you how to do some other event stuff. That's really neat. That can it just leverage you and then build lab. You know, it's only, it's on version two right now. You know, there'll be a version 20. Right. And I'm just going to try to make this happen faster and faster and easier and easier for you. And I'd like to have some fun with you guys if we could. Um, but I'm just here to help you. This is where I focus. If you have questions, you can ask Todd or anybody, just reach out and I'll reply and I'll get with you. I'm not going to bullshit you. I might say things that hurt your feelings once in a while, but it's, I'm, I love you. Okay. I just don't want you to waste <laughs> time does. or go he down really the does. wrong way, you know? Yeah. I've, I've got, I've wasted a lot of time in the wrong directions. I'll tell you that. So, um, that's, that's my story, I guess. Um, so does anybody else have any other questions? I do have one more just for you. Uh, do you, uh, should I be putting everything in Miro or should I be putting everything in system IO? In other words, as far as the laying down of the content itself, should I, mm -hmm. where should I be building this? So when I create the content, it's a good question. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much, Alicia. I can't wait to to work with you. Sounds like you've got all the stuff that we can help you. Um, so let me show you this, Todd. What I do is I actually build everything. You know, I build everything and put it in in classroom. So when I'm in here, I'll create. I use Miro to create my little pictures that I can draw on and scribble on. It's my little whiteboard on on the on the computer right and then i put everything in here so like for instance um you know if i want to edit this i can just come in here click edit i can name the module i can click on this and i just drop my link in here and the videos in there and then i can write the stuff that they need to have down here like what we're going to cover the action items 
And then I can just add the resources here and then they can click on them and get the examples and the resources and the templates. And then um, I put the transcript in here. That's not necessary. I just do it because it makes each module search engine uh, accessible a lot better. Right. Um, but that's it. And then, you know, when I, so if you want to come in here to classroom, for instance, I could come in here and move this over a little bit. Um, so, so when you come into, uh, your, when you set up your school or you could do, listen, if, if you don't want to pay the money to do school, I don't, you know, I don't suggest this long-term, but in the interim or in the beginning, when you're trying to, if you're trying to, if money or whatever is an issue or something like that then you can use system.io. It works great. And you just build your, you build your program in here. You go to products, courses, and then you can add a new course. You can name the course, put your name in there, description of the course. You can make it under your domain name. You can put a path to it, like, you know, course 1000. Mm -hmm. You can pick a theme, the font type. You can put your photo in there, your logo, the course picture. And then once it's in there, you'll go to your courses and it'll show it here. Then you can click on your name, course name, and then you can come up here. You can add students. You can add a module, add a lecture. And when you do that, you name the lecture. You say you want to put a video in it so you can go and preview that template. And you can come in here and swap out all the stuff that they already got in here. And then you have a course thing here and it's and it's free. Let me remind you, to get this on ClickFunnels is going to cost you quite a bit. Yeah, this is I, it's unbelievable what System.io gives you. That's why I left ClickFunnels. I make a lot of money as an affiliate still with ClickFunnels from all the people that because I taught everything through ClickFunnels. Then they went to and I love. Listen, I, I've met Russell Brunson. I love these guys. Like I have nothing against them. I, I ClickFunnels was my machine. It was my my, my life. Um, but then they went to 2.0 their new version and it was like trying to decode the the pyramids or something and i was like man this is <laughs> i'm not gonna do this and brand new people sure as heck ain't gonna do this yeah. so that's when i uh michelle she shared system.io with me and i was weary about it and then i started using it. i'm like my lord this is beautiful so um okay. yeah you can do that's everything in here but listen i don't know if it's a you know, depending on what we're talking about here, if it's a financial thing or whatever it may be, or I don't know what it is, if, if that's what you're asking in that accord. And I don't. That's not to... a not a financial thing so much. I mean, I know schools ninety seven a month. Yeah, uh, and this whatnot. is the best way to go. Yeah, because I, you can like, go to I like, like school. Yeah, you can go to settings, and if you build it here, then you don't have to swap it over to it later. It's just yeah. I'm telling you, you know, and I. You know, I love the creator of school, but I also just love school because I know he's creating it in the way that it should be created for this type of people, online education, business owners and, and digital product coaches and teachers and stuff. This thing is in its infancy and it's a beautiful machine and it just saves you so much time. It makes things so much easier. But uh, when you want to go to set up your your courses and your categories and everything like that, it's just so simple to do. So right. simple to do. You can just okay. create a new course. You click on here, name the course, course description, who gets, you know, who gets access, put the picture there, boom, it's in there. And then you can just add your modules just like I showed you here. Right. Is that is that the logo? Is that just the logo or is this that actually is that the theme for the whole thing? uh on the previous thing i was just on yeah like when you're saying here the, oh, this right here yeah like the upload yeah, right there. this yeah. the picture that you would put here ends up being whoops so like you would have put the picture of the, the the build life logo there yeah 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 for, mm -hmm. yeah okay. yeah it ends up being this picture right here oh, oh, oh okay okay yeah All and right, then so once that, you right. get into it if i want to add like a module or something i can go okay. here and i can edit this thing i can add a module and then and you just put your video in it and you know, and you can put all your resources Wonderful. in there. It's, it's so gosh, it's just awesome. Good. And well, pretty thank soon, you for answering that question. I really yeah, appreciate that. Pretty soon. Everything's going to be in here too. It'll be, it'll be even, even handier, but I like, there's no distraction in here. It's clean. There's, you know, I love the group feature, the gamification feature. 
Um, it's just and the community is awesome too. I love the community, man. I mean, it becomes it's amazing. So, um, oh no, I, Yasser took my place as in and in, in in fourth and Ben took me over in fourth position. Oh no, I gotta <laughs> I gotta up my uh, up my engagement. I uh, know, man. <laughs> But yeah, in in Build Lab, anybody can post. Like uh, Yasser just got in here, he closed a five thousand dollar deal. He was literally on the call, left and closed it there. Um, we follow each other on TikTok. If you need help getting your TikTok built up, you can come in here. We'll all follow you. At least get you to a thousand, so you can go live if you want. Going live is amazing, guys. Listen, you can literally sit there and talk to your customers and answer their question. They literally tell you exactly what's wrong what they want and then you can go facilitate that create that or generate the content to help them it's it's fantastic i, I mean it's fantastic so um i was against it i was like i ain't going live come on now and then i did it and i'm like i was an idiot <laughs> it's a it's amazing i'm like you can go talk to your customers um <laughs> so it's uh I, I don't know. I changed my, I used to be all ads, like ads, ads, ads. I was like, why do content? I'll just buy ads. You know, Blech. content is like, if ads are bricks, the content is the mortars yep. mortar in there. You don't have it. The wall falls over real fast because it's, it, yep. everything does this. And if you don't have something to take, fill in those down gaps, it just, oh, yeah. and then you become a slave to ads. And that's why I did build lab and, and taught this. Cause I'm like, what if I couldn't run ads? Can I still make this money happen? And I'm like, other people are doing it. So apparently I can do it. Yep. <laughs> I just need to figure out how. So, um, yeah. So anyway, well, listen, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Sorry. I was disorganized. Sorry. I got a little long winded in certain things. And you know, if I didn't answer, no, it was great. And it's great. I'm going to do these some more. It seems like you guys like them. Um, but I do appreciate you all and I, I really want to help you. And if you, you know, if you have any questions about anything, email Mike at make once. Um, I'll, I'll try to do everything I can. Thank you, Burton is great talking and meeting you there. Uh, Tamisha, everybody, Jay, Todd, of course. And uh, listen, I'm excited for you guys. I'll, uh, I'll shoot out the replay. And then, like I said, anybody that gets started here today, I will, uh, we'll be doing a cool private I'm just going to call it like a super fast track series type zoom where we can try to get you set up and all jamming and going in one, one video or one zoom. That would be, that would be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yep. So, um, so anyhow, and all the members of build lab, of course, we'll get that. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys uh, have a great, great weekend. I'm heading to Cancun Whoa. Sunday. So uh, hell, I might do one of these zooms down there on the beach. That'd be fun. That'd be um, great. Right so, off. <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah right <laughs> so all right well listen guys appreciate all you right. so much reach out i'm here for you and uh, right. great meeting you and uh, we'll talk to you soon all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.